Hey Libra, welcome to your intuitive channel forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. As we expand on the energies for August, for this, thank you spirit, forecast for the 16th through the 31st of August 2021. General reading, take what resonates, leave the rest for, oh, sorry, thanks, everyone else. Because it is a general reading. You may want to look at the forecast for your moon rising and Venus. There's a link in the description if you want to calculate yours, if you don't already know it. Okay. If it does resonate with you, you want to claim the reading, just say, hey, throw a comment below the video. This is a spirit-driven reading, so if <laughs> there may be some homework. All right. If one of your spirits specifically comes in, I will point that out. Okay, all right. A little another sip of espresso. Mmm. Life's little gasm for me. All right, so let's get started. Hey, thanks again for your likes and subscribing to the channel to support the channel. I really appreciate that. All right, so we're starting out with the Ten of Air. Beautiful. She's blowing up here. You see, I don't know if you can see that in the card. All right, she's looking up. This is about graceful endings. Something is changing. I, I mean, you know, you've got this and you've got transformation in the tower. Something's definitely changing. So something is ending, but it's ending in such a way where it's not like this terrible ending. It's graceful. It's, it's peaceful. It's relief, um, you know, and hope. it's hope for a new beginning. You know, it's a point of some kind of an epiphany where you're ending maybe an old way of thinking as you're transforming. So for some of you, it will be a, a, an ending of a situation, you know, maybe a, um, a parting of ways. For some of you, it's a change, an ending in, in a, a way of thinking for yourself, a belief system, something that no longer serves you, you know. Um, maybe you have a big cry and you release all those toxins and false beliefs from childhood. All right. Then we have transformation. Mm -mm. Transformation, change. Okay. Uh, it looks like little wisps of fire as she's intently looking. Nothing remains the same. And she's just, maybe she's, she's going to blow the, that little, those little wisps of fire out of her hands and accepting that life is evolving for her through these cycles, you know, you've got birth, you've got death and you've got everything in between. You've got rebirth. And this is a time to change, to transform, to transition from one form to the other, you know, allowing things to happen for the highest good of you. All right. So you're changing. Maybe you're in a space right now where you have that time, maybe you're away, you know, and you have that time away from the normal routine to contemplate on what it is that you want for the rest of your life. And you're deciding it's time for that change. And maybe the change, the graceful ending is being presented to you. Maybe, maybe it's something that's been in the back of your mind that you wanted, but it's being presented to you and you're okay with it. You've been waiting and you're saying, oh, thank God, you know, uh, it's time for this change and letting go of the old and welcoming in the new. And next to the change card, we have the tower. And in this deck, the tower is about surprises, things that are happening really fast when this card shows up in a reading, you know, and it's about a total paradigm shift, you know, um, in this deck, you know, something is, 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 is morphing into something else for you. So let's say that you're, you're the position you're in, um, ended, but maybe you, you hated it. And then, Something else presents itself, an opportunity, and it's just about opening and accepting that when it comes. All right, 
amazing, I mean, absolutely amazing transitional, uh, foundational cards for you. So let's take a look a little further. Now, I've already shuffled this but, and done a pre-shuffle, but let's just shuffle them again, and we'll get a little clarification for you as we pick a pile. Okay. And these are little slippery suckers, so let's see what we can get here. One, stay. Okay, cool. All right, spirit. Yep. Oops, got to pick them all up. Let's throw six out. Maybe we'll pick up a couple more. All right, <laughs> look at that, double tower. Something's definitely changing. Something is definitely changing. You're definitely changing. As I said, I'm getting the, the sense that you are outside your normal routine right now. And uh, you have more free time right now or something that you are freed up to, to spend a little bit more time focusing on the next step for you. So ideas are coming to you. Um, you're constantly going. I mean, Libra, you mean you're constantly on the go. And um, that overburdenness, that stress impacts you and you're... You're, you don't have to do that anymore, you know? You're strong. And that strength is showing right now as you are open to that transformation, open to the change. And with that change is good news. It's good news for you. It's relief. It's, re it's release. Uh, lots of communication. Opportunity. You got the fish in the, in the cup here. So some good news is coming. Some, some kind of... Um, opportunity is presenting itself to you during the period. And it's your chance to be carefree. Maybe you are being carefree right now. This also into, into this, this card of the fool indicates travel. It indicates a journey. So some, you know, you see the little, the, he's got all his stuff in that little bag in the back of the, of the stick. He's taking the journey. In his hand is that white flower, okay? He's connecting to that spiritual, higher self. It's an awakening time for him, awakening period, all right? He's got the little dog who looks like he wants to play. It's a playful time, all right? Yellow, solar plexus chakra, showing your strength as you dare to take on a new leg of the journey, a new path. You know, maybe you're taking the, the road that's less traveled. Uh, maybe it's, you know, again, you are traveling. There's a lot, this indicates travel during this period. Um, but taking that leap, they call this the leap of faith card, the fool. Responsibly taking the leap of faith, uh, in the words of Patrick Overton, knowing that one of two things will happen. You'll either be taught how to fly or you'll hit solid ground. Okay. Excellent. Mm. What else? And you've got the world at your feet. You've got the world in your hands. See this card? You've got the lion. You've got the strength. You've got, um, she's got the wands here. This is about the triumph. This is about triumph in, in the home place, making the home the dream or moving to a new home. You're, some of you are deciding right now what that next step is. And there's, I'm getting that the, if it is a move, it's going to be to a place that you weren't thinking about before. A new possibility presents itself during the period of where you could be moving. All right. Um, interesting. And it's a really it's a good place for you to put down roots, maybe retire, uh, depending on if you're starting a family or or, or empty nester. Um, also a great time for rekindling relationships, visiting old friends and family. And so relationships are, are, are favored right now. And yeah, career, money, uh, possibilities and opportunities all favored with these cards. Another one. 
Spirit saying another one. And here's your money. Here's the philanthropist, the generous, the generosity card. Sharing and having enough to share with others. Having enough for yourself and enough to share. Um, this is also about volunteering and charity work. Um, so maybe some of you are getting involved in more charity projects during the period. Good for you. Charity always opens our heart. You know, volunteering. And then again, the opportunity, talking about opportunity here, change and surprises. One door may be closing, but look, there's the opening right there. And you've got the connection to the higher self, the crown chakra through the white flowers. And then you've got the root chakra through the red flowers. That is the material world. All for you. Well, nice. Libra. Brr. Or as I like to say, boom shaka laka laka. <laughs> all right, guys. So all I've got. Thanks again for your likes. Thanks for your subs. Uh, as we all move forward together, and thanks for supporting the channel. Take care, and um, you know, hey, we'll we'll see you next time. <laughs>